Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Buganagan wants to show us something, so let's form a new party! We have to bring the dog with us, so I'm gonna ditch Kate Sith, well, for the rest of the game, really, and go with Eris now. So before following after Buganhagen, there's one thing I want to take care of. We can fight yet another battle all the way back at Fort Condor! Yay! If you let the buggy break down outside, you can't cross the rivers to get back, so, well, that's why I didn't let it break down. And for winning the battle, I, I think you get five high potions. I'll uh, check it out, and I'll go over my materia setup for the next area when I get back, then. Okay, we're back, and I just rested up at the end there from my travels after fighting the battle at Fort Condor there. One thing I want to show you guys here, I don't think I showed it before, but this is the, I think it's an item shop or something. What do they sell here? Okay, yeah, it is an item shop. And there's a little rope here that's blocking our path into the back, so we can't get there yet. There's an event later on in the game that will trigger that rope being moved out of the way so that we can get him back there and we can pick up some good items later in the game. Now just so you know, with that battle at Fort Condor, you have to fight that battle now. You can't wait until after this next area because, well, then you'll miss the battle. And also, uh, I said I won five high potions, and that's true, but the game says you won five potions, normal potions. But your inventory will show the five high potions like you should have gotten, so... Okay, so before we talk to Buchenhagen, let's go over the Materia setup. Oh, yeah, I should rearrange my accessories. I'll do that off-screen in a moment, but... Yeah, I'm just working on Chocobo Lure and this All Materia just to get AP for it. You want to master an All Materia as quickly as possible, which I'll explain why later in the game. Manipulate will need to learn a new enemy skill. Shiva, there's an enemy that's weak to ice in the area. Cover for Cloud, because he's strongest. Restore all, restore all. Enemy skill. I gave her the long range materia, because she's going to be in the back row. Restore all, enemy skill. You're going to be hearing that a lot. Restore all, enemy skill. That's basically what it's going to be. And I think there's an enemy somewhere along the line that can use fire elemental magic on you, Ifrit elemental, so... Okay, well, I'm going to uh, equip my accessories that I forgot to do a minute ago, and be right back. Okay, we're back, and I've equipped my accessories appropriately now. We got Power Wrist for Cloud there, Fire Ring for Eris, and I gave the Sprint Shoes to Red 13 because, well, he's still on his level 2 limit break, so he needs quite a few kills. Cloud's always around. I'm not worried about getting him his kills. I mean, he'll kill some enemies just by chance, so I wouldn't worry about specifically you know, trying to make sure that Cloud gets a certain number of kills. Well, you had that switch in there this whole time, and no one found it? Well, that's an easy way of getting in there. So how do you guys get your electricity for this place anyway? What, you use, like, geothermal power plants or something? I've been playing too much SimCity Creator. Yeah, my fiancé got that for me for Christmas. Yeah, I've been playing that quite a bit while I've been ill this week, but I'm, well, about as close to 100% as I think I'm going to get for right now. I don't want to take a whole week off from doing these things, so. But thanks for your support, everyone. I greatly appreciate it. Let's check out this cave here, then. I wonder why he wanted us to go here, anyway. Let's see. This place is the Cave of the Gee. So, let's check it out. No treasure in this area that we can get access to yet. And don't enter any of these holes in the walls unless I tell you to. There's a good reason. Let's see who we got here. Haha! -ha! Okay, simple enemy. Cloud's gonna take care of these guys. These guys are... Hegs. Whatever a heg is, I don't know. Some kind of a snake. And they're susceptible to ice, so... That's why I'm gonna use Shiva on them. Fast forward through the summon animation, if you don't mind, viewers. So, yeah, they're weak to ice. There you go. Pretty simple. Yay! 
we learn different. Now you want to enter this hole first. Now all these caves will have, or the holes in the walls will have an odd shaped rock. So let's break this one off. Now if you if it's a wrong one, you'll get into some battle or something like that. Whatever. Don't worry about that. Just don't do it unless I tell you to. In fact, don't do anything unless I tell you to. It's like I always say, if you do what I tell you to do, you'll be happier. Trust me. Ghost of the Gee Tribe. Oh, so this place is full of ghosts. No wonder you sealed them in. Imagine, all they had to do was find that little switch there, huh? Of course, ghosts. I would think ghosts could go through walls, but I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of Beetlejuice too much. Okay, now be careful here. If you run across this oil slick to the left there, or mud, or whatever you want to call it, you'll fly into the wall, and you'll get hit by some spikes. That'll reduce everyone to 1 HP. Not a good idea. So let's just head over here instead. Yay, we get an effect materia. It works like the elemental materia, except for status ailments instead of elements. Probably won't be using it too much. Let's see who we got here. We got another enemy that I've been looking for. Sneaky Staff. We can learn an enemy skill from him if we manipulate him. So let's do that. Come on, Cloud. There we go. In case I didn't mention it earlier. Uh, what is it? Uh, manipulate is dependent on your level relative to the enemies. So that's why I always... Uh, have Cloud using it, because his level's always higher than everyone else. And we learned Death Sentence. Not a particularly useful enemy skill, but might as well learn it while you have the, sh the chance. Death Sentence, and yeah, that ought to finish him off. Actually, that can be useful with a particular weapon of Tifa's, but I'm not going to worry about that. Well, okay, finish him. I don't want to waste my limit break on this guy. There we go. I should probably heal up after that, huh? Man, how did I lose so much HP? Okay, well I'll heal up then and uh, be right back. You can also learn, uh, what is it, that enemy skill from an enemy called Gee Spectre. It's a, a ghost like looking enemy, so let's head up here then. Walk across the oil. You see, you'll just slide across it if you run, like I just did there. So, let's head over here then. Up here then? Let's head left here. Uh, that upper right path leads to a dead end. So, just head down here first. They got a black microphone in a cave full of ghosts. What are they, singing some white zombie down here? Yeah, I don't think so. Let's head up here first. Or, well, second, I guess. And we get another. Well, that's all the treasure we can get here for now. Let's take the upper left path this time. Oh, Buganagan's gonna be talking some more. Well, more like under Cosmo Canyon, but, you know, depends on your perspective, I guess. We got lava under here. I mean, every good area has to have lava in it. Every video game, anyway. Uh-oh. We got quite a few paths to choose from. Let's take this one. Just walk right through that spider web, if you don't mind. Holy crap! That's a huge spider. Oh, wrong one. I want to use Frog Song on that guy. Level 4 Suicide isn't going to do anything to him. Fast forward through my mistake there, pretend it never happened. This guy has a lot of HP, I think over 2,000 if I recall correctly, but if you have Frog Song, you can make mincemeat out of him pretty easily. And then just use your normal physical attacks. Ha ha! Unfortunately, a lot of enemies in this game, a lot, are immune to Frog. So, not going to be too useful 
overall, but, well, you take what you can get. Alright, we got him. But that's all the time we have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Next time, we'll continue through the Cave of the Gi and get some more treasure, find out what Bugenhagen wanted to show us. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.